Hanging out as always with Mr. Willie Man, y'all. Today's video is about a beautiful white 2021 Akins Ford F-150 Covert Edition. You gotta stick around because I'm showing you a new tire that's here to compete with the Ridge Grappler and also some new things that you must know about the 2021 F-150. You know I'm ready, I hope you are, let's go. Y'all ready? Absolutely. About go time, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'll, I'll see y'all in a minute. Right on. So that was a great guy, Steve. He's been helping us with uh, renovating our showroom. So that is coming very, very soon. As I've told you before, the showroom right there is going to be totally transformed to be uh, mild to wild, just like we are here at Wild Woods at Aiken. So stay tuned for that. Now let's get into this beautiful truck. Gotta love the covert, y'all. Gonna love this one. So I'm not about clickbait whatsoever. So I'm gonna dive right into the two new things I wanna tell you guys about. So thanks for sticking around with us and watching all of our beautiful trucks right here at Aikens. 2021 F-150 XLT Oxford White. Beautiful covert edition, y'all. We keep rolling them out. As I told on Instagram today, we've sold 11 out in the past seven days of our custom builds. Just truly phenomenal as always. I mean, the front pad just cannot keep it plenished. They just keep on selling and uh, just can't build them fast enough, y'all. It's, it's a great problem to have, but nonetheless, uh, we're, we're rolling out strong. Um, tires, so check out the tire, y'all. This is the new Mickey Thompson Baja Boss AT. It is here to compete with the Ridge Grappler and it looks just as aggressive. So look at that really nice, aggressive, sidewall there and then you've got a really good looking tread uh, design as well you've got rock ejectors there you've got uh, water uh, tread ejectors for when it, you know if it's heavy rain uh, your lugs on the center are slightly uh, closer together than the outer for you know better ride quality less road noise uh, a great tire available in many sizes this is a 295 60 20 so we're leveled on 34s with this application but the mickey thompson made in usa baja boss at we've got a couple customers riding around in this tire now and they've they said that they really do like it so we're looking forward to see what kind of mileage we can get out of this tire to uh, just let you customers know what you can expect as far as longevity but the mickey thompson baja boss at to me it fits what we're trying to do here at akins with our coverts because it's a dual purpose, meets many needs for you customers in that it, uh, it's, it's aggressive, but it rides good and it has that signature look that we're looking for and we think you're looking for in a custom 4x4 off-road, this everyday driving truck. The second thing I wanna tell you about is what we found on the 21 trucks is the overall suspension uh, is wider. What I mean is if you look at a stock truck, like look at these stock 21 trucks up here. so. Typically on the, the 15 to 20 trucks, the wheels were, were tucked in more um, than the 21 trucks. The 21 trucks, as you can see, they're almost flush with the fender well from, a, from, from the factory. So essentially what I'm trying to get at is um, we've got less room as far as fitting the, more of a negative offset. So this uh, application here is a plus 18 offset. So this is a 20 by nine XD Rover gloss black and milled wheel and uh, i love this wheel with the amount of milling that it has even did the chrome uh, lug nuts because we've got a chrome package truck and doing the, a black wheel tastefully with a chrome package truck uh, can still look very very good so i like the way this one turned out but typically this look right here is what we usually get from the 15 to 20 year model trucks with a zero offset so with a plus 18 we're in pretty much in the same ballpark so keep in mind y'all if you're wanting uh, as flush of a stance as possible you're going to have to run uh, as positive as a possible offset you can a plus 20 a plus 30 would be a really good sweet spot for a, a flush look but this plus 18 uh, with a 295 width so the first number on your tire size at 295 is your width in millimeters and then the 60 is a percentage uh, of the the width to give you your overall height. So it's like a 33.9 inch tall tire via leveled on 34s. Is that what we would like we like to call it. So keep in mind my so my first thing is the the new great Baja Boss AT. 
The second thing is the offset and the suspension components being a little bit wider on the 21. And actually, y'all, <laughs> kind of crazy too, one side sticks out ever so slightly more than the other. If you can look here, this side uh, sticks in slightly more than this side. And it's, if you lower a truck, it's more noticeable. But when you're leveling or lifting, it's not quite as noticeable. But the, essentially, the, the drive shaft is slightly more over. Uh, to one side on the 21 trucks the 14th gen um, something that nobody would notice except for me but but i have been uh detail oriented as always and that's something those three items i've really just noticed uh, in totality for the 14th gen no negative at all just want to share with you guys that you're going to have issues with uh going more negative on your offsets on your wheels on the 14th gen than you are uh, on the 13th. So uh, let's get into this one, y'all. Leveled on 34s via a two inch. Look at that stance, y'all. That's just so money, so money. Uh, we're slightly higher on the concrete on this side. So if it doesn't look level, it's because of that. But she is perfectly true and level. Looking great. Uh, we did the Roush 2.0 coilover leveling kit. So you got uh, a great ride quality application here. Looking great. We got rear wheel well liners out back because that just is a must on a white truck especially. We got Fox 2.0s. Uh, we like the Retrax bed covers. And this one in particular, being the XR, it's got the T-slot there. So you can put additional accessories or whatever you like to put, kayak cares, etc., out back. So you got more versatility uh, with the XR bed cover. So man, just another great stance there. Um, up front too, we did custom emblems. If we were going to do just a, a tire swap, we would not have, but since we did the black wheel, we did the blue to black on the front and rear emblem. That just looks so classy. Did add a nice Aikens tag up front. We also got a Hypertech Speedo Cal, uh, which is now available so you can keep all your speeds in, in a legit range. Uh, on the inside, y'all, we got Lumar window tent guaranteed for life and cat skin leather to make this XLT just stand out and be more lariatish. And then you got the big 12 inch touchscreen. Now this does have the flip down center console so you can ride three up front. Let me know what you think. Do you like the flip down center console versatility or do you like the fixed center console better? Obviously I think, you know, it looks a little more premium with the center console, but the versatility and the way this is set up, most of you will, will like this as well. Cat skin in the back too, y'all. Got the uh, four. These are the Ford all-weather floor mats. You know we we love WeatherTech, but uh, the Ford all-weather I think kind of like them better. That's more of a rubbery uh, texture feel to it, so I do like that. Now window sticker pause to see all the options on this one, and then here's the Y with a covert package. Uh, the 20 by 9 plus 18 offset, as I mentioned, the Retrax bed cover. Uh, so basically, we're at 10, 887, 68. 947 before discount so great value in the options that we added to this one you're still not uh in the, in the lariat range getting a lot more options uh to consider with this one so now out back y'all we've got the let's look at that emblem i mean that just so cleans up the vehicle uh and it goes nicely with the wheel combo we chose here um love the led lighting that they have now this is so much brighter than it used to be tailgate assist Aikens liner guaranteed for life. You've got different options as far as your power on board. This has the standard 400 watt max there. Um, tailgate step, I don't know how many of you have seen tailgate steps from forward, but you just push, push the button there, down. This pops out, clicks up, and then you're up and in as you so please and choose. And the wife and I definitely use it a lot. We said, we're not gonna use this. This is an old man option, but we actually use it quite often, especially when you got a bigger uh, tire set up, it just enables you and helps you get in and out uh, more and more, especially when you get a little older, y'all. You know, I'm, I'm 36, so starting to feel it, starting to feel it. Had my uh, first baseball game last night, went very well, went two for three, um, feeling, feeling good, uh, enjoyed it, caught the whole game as well. So baseball's back for me, so um, be looking for more baseball analogies as I'm diving into it and my son's right in the middle of his season too so the shepherds are all about baseball right now and a covert edition truck is the perfect vehicle for all of your needs 
for whether you have a family or just a single person, it can take care of everything. So a Covert truck at Aikens is the way to go. That's all I got on this one, y'all. So to summarize, we talked about the new Baja Boss AT tire from Mickey Thompson competing with the Ridge Grappler. It's gonna be a great one for us. Hopefully, we know we know that they make great tires with Mickey Thompson. And then secondly, the offsets are a little bit different on this generation than the previous gen. So trust in us because we study this stuff and lose sleep about what fits and what doesn't and what the differences are between each generation truck. So that's one thing I take pride in y'all and building beautiful coverts is another one. And uh, thank you so much for tuning in to us. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. We got a lot coming to you. Basically, I just got to stay up the next three or four nights to edit these videos to get out to you because I've got a lot that I filmed, but just have to find time to make it happen to get it out there to you guys. So thanks so much for watching y'all and stick with us. Real deal with Akins. Peace.